my job is to provide, to lead, and to protect. Yep. My wife probably doesn't even think about somebody coming in the house and, <laughs> and, and doing something to us because she knows that I will be up with my gun in my boxers yep. if I hear some crazy noises. You know what I'm saying? She don't have to worry about, you know what I'm saying, going to work a nine to five job, you know, trying to be a boss babe with 20 cats, you know what I'm saying, mm -hmm. angry because you you had a bad phone call with a customer. She doesn't have to worry about that. You know what I'm saying? So um, I do my role, you know what I'm saying, and she has her role, and that's probably why it's been so smooth so far, even with some of the worst news any woman could get. Sure. Where do you think um, this country is going to go? in that regard because the polarization between men and women is increasing even statistically yeah the marriage rates are declining yep the birth rates are declining yep and i think this is a much more long-term consequential issue than people realize like right now it's kind of i don't people talk about it a little but i think it's it's new enough that you haven't seen the long-term repercussions and it's, ah, oh, we, you know, the population is still growing because of immigration primarily yeah. and because people are living longer. And We're so... We're not keeping up with the replacement rate, though, in this country. We're below replacement rate. No developed country is. Oh. Except Israel. Israel is the only country that's considered an economically developed country in the world, not just the West, that is above replacement. replacement. Rate. Wow. U.S. is about one6 Yep. UK, I think, is about 1.4, 1.5. Japan yep. is down to about 1.1. Japan is getting bad. South Korea, yeah. 0 0.7. Wow. South Korea is cooked. Wow. They're set for a 97, 96, 97% population decline over the next few generations unless they can reverse it. And as far as I know, all throughout history, no population has ever managed to reverse that. <sighs> well, the thing with, with marriage, the reason why everything is bad is because um, – I hate to sound so typical Bryson Grayish, but Please do. when you leave your roles from a biblical perspective, yep. and when you make everything secular, this is the natural progression. Because women, they do control how men operate mm -hmm. if the if the men are focused on having sex with women. And that seems to be the main driving force for a lot of men is how can I get these women to have sex with me? That's why feminism is so successful, because if we notice, even the most feminist woman, they still want a man that they think can protect them. They still want a man to buy dinner on the first date. Mm -hmm. They still reject to marry a man and make less than them. So the roles are still very real. Is as you added extra layers of complication on top of the roles. So when you have women that don't like the word submission or don't like the word lead. Bump the word submission. We can admit that sounds bad in 2024, but lead shouldn't sound bad. A man should lead a woman. Women don't even like that. Women will say, I can lead too. When you're not even genetically built to uh, to lead to lead a man. You're just not. You're you're more emotional naturally, which is a good thing cuz it makes you more nurturing. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? In in many cases, so it's a good thing. I don't I'm glad my wife is more emotional than me. If she had a personality of me, I would think she was a sociopath yes, or something. Yes. She probably thinks I'm a sociopath. <laughs> Maybe you think I'm a sociopath? <laughs> <laughs> because <laughs> my because i'm a little different but um you know what I'm saying? so I, we don't we don't want that but the way they use it they put themselves in positions like i hate to be the bearer of bad news but has anybody ever worked at a call center or a workplace that has at least 50 percent women in it it is terrible it's a terrible experience <laughs> It's drama. <laughs> Women don't know how to have a, a, a phone call with a customer without cursing them out because she takes it personally <laughs> that they're mad at the company. They don't know you. Yeah. They're mad at the company. Yeah. And it's hard for them to handle that. Have you heard stories about people with woman bosses? Oh, gosh. Women prefer having male bosses. Of course they yeah. do. Because this is the natural order of things. Yeah. When, we mess, when we mess up the natural order of things, that's what it, but it's not just the women fault. No. You got men now. Men, because they want an I-N-D-E-P-E-E. -E -E. It's cool to want an independent woman. You know what I'm saying? That That's a boss that leads because we were programmed to believe we want this. And and, and men sort of sort of geared towards that woman and then wonder why they wonder why they unhappy and cheating. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And then also finance, there's a big economic factor to it as well. That's the that's the whereas, main reason people get divorced. Yeah, it's whereas, financial. But also as a, as a man now, you know, 
if you go back a few decades ago or in many parts of the world, a single income is an average single income is enough to support yep. a family. It used yep. to be. Not now. Whereas now, unless you are doing particularly well. Yeah, you got to make six then, figures. Yeah, unless you're doing particularly well, which statistically most, most people, people are not. Yeah. Are not then both people end up almost having to work. It's either that or a massive, or you have to significantly reduce your yeah. expectations and outgoings. And a lot of modern people Don't are not, no, are not, are not willing to do that, even if it's temporary. Yeah. So, so I do think they, the way they structured our economic system and the way it's evolved has led to that. Yeah. But I also think the way we live as millennials and younger, I do think it's sort of our faults too. Like yeah. e even with me, right? I can't imagine being in a house less than 1,700 square feet. Yeah. I don't even like being at 1,800 square feet right now. Mm -hmm. But then when you look back, because everybody be like, well, our parents' houses were cheaper. We're, look, we're rem smaller. <laughs> look at the houses they were living in. They live within their means. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And th they didn't care about having a 2,000, 2,500 square foot house unless you were super rich. They had small, modest homes. Old car. Oh, they had old cars. You know what I'm saying? They, they, they kept their car running. You know what I'm saying? And, and they, they lived like they, they typically ate in the house a lot of times. The, the way we eat fast food now is just asinine. Um, so uh, I think it's a, a mixture of brainwashing and our, how our economic system is set up, but it's also uh, it's also us wanting yes. too much. Yeah, the, the expectations yeah. for a large chunk of men and also for a large chunk of women are just – they they they're not they don't align with each other. Yep. And what's interesting is almost nobody except maybe the people in power who want depopulation, right? The the the, the weirdos out there. Um no one seems to be let me not say no one because of course like on an individual level millions of people are doing totally fine, but overall collectively yeah. um men are not happy with the situation. Of course not. And women are not happy with the situation either. It's just like constant complaining Constant grief, constant confusion, constant heartbreak. Constant and, divorce, uh, dude, constant I'll, I'll, suicide, I'll constant man. drug addicts, constant, constant I'll, alcoholism. I'll tell, you some, uh, I'll tell you something that's like really, really hit me over the last couple of years. And it's kind of odd to say this because I'm someone who has would, – would have always considered himself a Christian, always yeah. considered myself a believer, was, was raised in that, have always gone to church. Um. The Bible's right about everything. Yes. I feel like that's only really clicked for me quite recently because, and, and I'll, I think a, I think I can call this a, a mistake or an error. I think a mistake that a lot of Christian leaders and even Christian parents make is they, and perhaps because they struggle to articulate this, or maybe they themselves don't have the life experience to know, but they don't always explain they don't do a good job of explaining at a deep level why certain rules ideas and commandments exist yeah there's okay? a reason they, for that. it's kind of like well the bible <clears throat> says so yeah which for some people is okay all right it says this if if it's if i believe it's the word of god i won't do this thing because it says i shouldn't do this thing or i will do this thing yeah. because it says that i should but there are very real like real life reasons with it, you know, for people who love studies and data and all this stuff, like you can look at studies, you can look at that. Okay, when you deviate from this, and the more you deviate from it, what actually results? And you can you can see it. It's very tangible. So it's it's just been interesting for me to, for to like over time be like, oh, that's why, you know, that's why my parents used to say that thing. Oh, okay, this rule is like this. Why? Because if you don't do this, especially on mass, if, yeah. if if by the millions. <clears throat> People reject this and they start doing it this way and this way and this way. It leads to this problem. It leads to that problem. It causes this. It causes that. And now we're in a position where even the issues we were talking about earlier. Yep. This is now people are now calling on the state and wanting to use politics to fix the problems that they have caused by en masse abandoning these laws so and this guidance. The, the, the reason why... Christians don't explain the why mm -hmm. is because Christians, especially in modern churches, they don't like to focus on the rules at all. Yeah. 
And a lot of the rules they say are done away with. Like, perfect example. You know how Christians say um, the Old Testament says you shouldn't mix fabric. Mm -hmm. Well, they have it wrong because most Christians don't actually read the Bible. It's it's about specific fabric you can't mix, which is wool and linen. Mm -hmm. You can't mix wool and linen. If somebody does research on what happens when you mix wool and linen in clothing, it has negative effects on your body, right? And this one is going to make a lot of people watching this podcast pissed. But when it tells you not to eat pork, Mm -hmm. right? People may think, oh, yeah, yeah, look up what pork does. Look up what pork, look, look up what a pig is. Mm-hmm. A pig is a literal trash can. <laughs> it is. It is. They eat everything. Yeah. And, and, and it's something about, oh, God, dang, I don't know how I forgot it. The sweat glands and how it digests food. There's more toxins in, in, in pork because of this. Mm-hmm. The question is, how did they know this in the Bible? Yeah. Why do they call this specific animal and other things unclean? Mm -hmm. Just like shrimp. You know what I'm saying? People eat shrimp. But if you really look up what shrimp is, it's a trash can. Mm -hmm. It's just a habit. It's like literally eating a roach from the sea. It's just what it is. It's a sea bug. That's literally what it's classified as as a sea bug. You know what I'm saying? So, and these things are like made to clean up. You know what I'm saying? They're they're, they're cleaners, really. You know what I'm saying? And if you look up what it says about... um, Love thy neighbor. Mm-hmm. This is just common sense, right? When you look up the how love thy neighbor is defined, Christians think Jesus said in the New Testament, but it actually comes from Leviticus 19 uh, verses like 17 through 17 through 19. So Leviticus 19 verses 17 through 19. Anybody want to look it up? It explains to you what it means to love thy neighbor. It's just common sense type stuff, right? Mm-hmm. Don't mess with your neighbor's wife. Yep. Don't steal from your neighbor. Don't even covet. What your neighbor has, yes. like if your neighbor has a nice car and it's better than yours, don't 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 covet yeah. that. You know what I'm saying? Because these are your literal neighbors, yeah. and, you, and you don't want complications. That that's what being a good neighbor is. A secular person can tell you that that's what that, that's what being a good neighbor would be. You know what I'm saying? Don't bear false witness against people. Mm-hmm. Of course, you don't want to bear false witness against people because that call, that causes confusion. Even now, a lot of women p- put the claim on claim of rape on men without any evidence, and people just automatically believe it. Do you know what that does? Do you know what that does to the justice system for actual rape victims? Mm-hmm. Because now, I'm not going to lie to you, any time a woman claims somebody raped them, I question it off the rip. Yeah, it's like the hate crime situation. Like the hate crime situation, yeah. It's like, it's, like, it's like this is what happens when we allow people to bear false witness, and this is why women should get punished for lying about rape. Because that's, that's a very serious thing you're pinning on somebody. You should, you should go to jail for something like that. But when we don't take these things seriously, even the way it, even the way it explains marriages, like, let, let Let's get to a little adult part right quick. I said this on Twitter. People got mad. The Bible literally says once you get married, it is your duty as a husband and a duty as a wife to have sex with your spouse. Yes. And now you have millions of people in sexless marriages. Sexless and marriages. Ma- massive cause for people, divorce. And massive cause for divorce. Massive cause of infidelity. Infidelity. Yeah. Because, because, you, because you're trying to yeah. – a lot of women try to use sex as a tool as a, weapon. Yeah. as a weapon when it's not what it's supposed to be. But uh, I asked my DM me and said their husband used it as a tool, tool on them, too. You know what I'm saying? Very interesting. Yeah. And they ended up getting divorced, by the yeah. way. You know what I'm saying? So once you deviate from God's plan, everything's going to go to crap. Because yeah. he tells you it's going to go to crap. Sometimes people, But sometimes, bro, you got to get baptized through fire. Mm. 